Hi guys. Um, okay. Hi guys. Um, ah! Hi guys. It's Annie. Um, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Um, I know it's been a good amount of time since I posted last, but I'm currently trying to make this a priority. Hopefully this summer we will have more videos coming. Um, I'm super excited. I'm very, I'm, that's a weird way to say it, but I'm very excited and I'm definitely ready to produce more videos and kind of be a little bit more consistent. Um, if you can see in my frame, there's like a little white doggy next to me. Um, so if you can hear him, one about, if one, if you can hear him, I'm sorry about that. And two, I hope it's, he doesn't move too much or is distracting. Um, but he wanted to sit next to me. Um, today's video, I haven't even said that. Um, today's video is my summer favorite. These products are newer and some of them are older products that every summer I've used and basically now that summer's here I've already jumped into using them. Um, so that's kind of the video. Um, these are just kind of products that I don't use as much in the winter, spring, or even fall time. It's more glowy and just more natural. In the summertime, I, I tend, for a day-to-day -day basis, I tend to not really wear eyeshadow and just a lot of highlighters. So, <laughs> um, But with all of that, let's get into the video. Alright, I'm going to kind of go in face order how I would apply my face, but I don't have something in every category. Like, eyebrows, mascara, I basically use the same all of the time. Um, foundation, I basically use the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. Concealer, I use Tarte Shape Tape. Like, it doesn't really change that much. But two products that, well, one product that I use on an everyday basis is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer, the hydrating version. Um, I just absolutely love this product. It is so beautiful and it just, it's great to put on my makeup. I mean, let me start over. It's so beautiful and I always put it as the first layer of my makeup every single day. I'll like get up, put some, wash my face, do my toner, and then I'll put this on and then I'll go into my eyebrows. So every day I just give myself like a good hydration with this product and I really love it. But recently I've been mixing in the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer which has like a little bit of a glow. It's similar to the... The Becca Backlight Priming Filter, like the first one that came out that has the glow, it's very similar to that product. And so I like to just push, put these together, mix them, and put them on my face. And so I get really hydrate. That was not English. It's very hydrating, and then at the same time it gives a beautiful glow, which in the summertime, I like a nice little glow. So I've been really enjoying mixing these two products. Then my next product that I kind of have is bronzers. So one I'm just going to fly by, and the other one I'll talk a little bit deeper in it. But I've been working on the Butter Bronzer, um, and I've just completely re-fell in love with this product. Um, I just absolutely love it. It's so good. It's such a good color. I have the shade Bronzer, so not very deep at all, but it's so beautiful. I've if It's very clear. I've hit some pan on it, and I just love it. I reach for it almost over all of my other bronzers. Because by trying to hit pan on it, I just completely fell in love with it. And I think it has such a great natural tan color to it. Because um, I haven't actually really been able to get out in the sun since summer has started. I've been so busy. I've been running around and I haven't gotten any color. My freckles have not come in because I literally have not been out in the sun at all. This looks very natural even with my very, very pale skin, which I have. So I really like this. My next product is... The Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, um, and I love this product. I love cream products in the summertime as well. I think they're so beautiful, and for days where I'm trying not to really wear any ma face makeup, so kind of maybe a little bit of concealer under my eyes, and then I use I usually go with cream bronzer, cream blush, cream highlight, a little bit of brows and mascara, and call it a day, um, just because I think it's so natural and they like it melts into your skin and it then you just have like a, a beautiful glow the whole day with cream products. So I really love this cream bronzer. It's definitely one of my favorites. I think it's super easy. You just push a, put a brush in it and then you start blending it all over your face. Um, I really like it. The only issue I'm having with it right now is, like I said, I do not have any color. So when I wear this, it's kind of obvious 
um, that I'm wearing bronzer because it's very warm toned. I wish it was a little cooler, um, personally, for my liking. Um, but that's okay. I still think it's so beautiful. Sorry, I sounded like that's okay, like it wasn't okay. <laughs> but that's totally okay that it's a little bit warm. Um, a little bit more yellow warm undertone because in the summer when I do have a little color or when I do a little bit of a fake tan to try and look a little less pale because I don't really tan I get like maybe a shade or two darker but I get freckles and I also get like a pinky glow because I'm very fair so this ends up looking really beautiful once I have a little bit of color so hopefully that comes soon so then I have three little blush products I'll start with this cream blush so this is a cream blush by what's the color what's this brand? It's like Sugar Rush. It's like Tarte's like more youth, I don't want to say youthful, like their younger brand. I feel like when it first came out, everyone was like, oh, this is for 10 year olds and everything's so cheesy. And I mean, this is a cream blush in the shape of a seashell, which is very cutesy. But this product is actually really nice. When I was just looking at the brand for the first time, I saw this cream blush and I was like, wow, that's so beautiful. Um, it's in the shade Ocean Girl. And even though it's like it the packaging is more young looking the cream blush is phenomenal I use like an elf small stippling brush and I put it on I have it on today and I think it looks so natural and so beautiful um, and what's even very nice about it is a lot of the time I forget with my cream products in general to put them on before I put powder and this works over powder I mean I would recommend doing it before powder but I almost always forget and so I find this really really useful and really it just looks so nice and it does last all day I think it's more of a cream to powder finish but it still has a very nice glow to it without it being shimmery or like highlightery then I have two more blushes that are both powders one is the benefit California and I have to say I think this might be my I think it's my second or third summer having it I basically got it right off right when it came out so whenever it came out I don't remember maybe 2017 Ooh, maybe 2017 I don't know but I got it right away and I absolutely love this product in the summer every single summer without thinking I always just start grabbing for this product like I never I'm like ooh, that's my summer blush it's just kind of like mm, what blush do I want to wear today and I always grab for this when it's the summertime and this year is no 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 obsession. <laughs> oh my god. This year is no exception. I absolutely love 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 this blush. I don't know if this would work for everybody's complexion, but I feel like it could work for a lot of people's complexion, and I would say with different undertones it actually still looks really nice on everyone I've seen use it. So, I do highly recommend this. It's such it's such a beautiful color. And then the last thing of, for blushes is the Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio, Trio in the shade Fair to Light. I got this in my BoxyCharm and I think these shades are so beautiful. Um, these two shades when you first look at them ha look very similar but this one's more of a peachy yellowy sheen and this one's more of an orangey coral but the coral is like more of like a duochrome idea it's like not initially seen but when you put it on your cheeks like in some light it looks more coral in sunlight it looks a little bit more orangey and they're very glowy and beautiful this one is my personal favorite but I feel like even with the look I'm wearing today like this shade could have been really beautiful I really really like this palette and I think it's super nice I highly 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 recommend this palette it was really nice and if you got in your boxy charm I mean that's even better next moving on to highlighters so I'm gonna start with probably the ones I've been most obsessed with which are the Anastasia glow kits I brought out the one that I think is still available I have four but I think some sun dipped is the only one available so I pulled this one out but I love Anastasia's highlights and I think in the summertime I love them even more because I just want to like douse myself in them <laughs> In the winter they're beautiful, um, but I'm usually more fair, and most of the shades do not work on me in the <laughs> in the winter time. But this palette is so beautiful. I actually love to use this as like a bronzer topper, really lightly with like a dual fiber brush, just to kind of give myself a little bit of a glow. Um, tourmal tourmal line tourmaline. I'm not sure which one how to pronounce it, but I love to use that as an eyeshadow as like a bronzy shadow and then these two as highlights are so beautiful but the Anastasia glow kit I think it's such a good deal um it's $40 for four like basically full-sized full-sized 
that's so hard to say, full-sized shades. And although $40 seems like a lot, I think that's actually a really, really good deal for the amount of product you're getting. And I think they're so versatile. The next product is the Revolution Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss Highlighter in Peach Kiss. And this was, I got this last summer, and I think, <coughs> I think it was $7, like something like that. And this is huge. It has 14 grams of product, which is so much product. And I used this a lot last year, and I only was in the center, and like, it barely looks touched. I was afraid it was going to be a little dark for my skin tone, but it's one of those products that's really stiff. And when you swatch it, it doesn't show up very well, but when you get like a more densely packed brush brush I can't remember exactly which one it is I think it's the ColourPop small fluff brush I think that's what it's called um but that looks like when you just pack that in and you blend it it's more of like a blending motion it's not like a tapping you have to just kind of like work it into the skin a little bit and the more you work it in it's like more of like a glossy beautiful look I'm so I love this so much I think it looks so beautiful and in the summer I just it does it for me I don't really use it outside of the summer but in the summertime, I can't get enough of it. I just throw it on my face. <laughs> the last highlight I have is from ColourPop, and it's in the shade Here Kitty Kitty. Um, I got this when their pressed highlights first came out, so I'm not a million... I'm not 100% sure if this is still available, but I really hope, and I should have checked before I'm saying something. But I love ColourPop highlights in general. The ColourPop Innuendo palette that came out like last February or something like that. I have literally hit pan on every single one of the shades and used up my favorite shades, so I repurchased the palette. That is how much I love that palette. I love it so much. So I'm working on my second second one, and I've hit pan on ready one of the shades. And it's not because there's not a lot of product in it. It's because I basically have to stop myself from using it every day. Um, and But this is no exception. The formula, I would say, is basically the same and it is so beautiful and this is just such a good shade um, I actually love it all year round but in the summertime I just like to douse myself in it and it just looks so nice it's very versatile it's, it's so beautiful and it just it looks so nice on the skin and the ColourPop palettes are um, highlights are like six seven dollars I think and with the package maybe like eight or nine I don't know which for the amount of product and I've had this for a while I would say that's definitely worth the price in my opinion but I really really love that Okay, next I have lip products, and I have four to show. So I will start with the Tristique. I'm so sorry. I am totally murdering this. It, I will put every product down in the description box. But this is the um, Prime and Color Lip Glaze in the shade English Rose. And I got this in my BoxyCharm a couple of months ago. Um, it's like this really pretty berry color, and what I really like about this formula and product is, well, one, it has a primer under it. Uh, one, it has a primer under it. I have not used the primer, um, but it did fly out at me, so maybe I should. Um, but this is really nice to give more of like a blotted lip, which I feel like is very in this summer, and I'm going to talk about another product that's the same idea. Um, but I really like to do this really sheer and kind of like blend it out and sometimes I'll put a gloss over it sometimes I won't but it gives like a berry like it gives like a like you ate like a grape popsicle and you've got like that stain on your lip and I just think it looks so good in the summer and it's such a beautiful shade I don't know if you can see from this far away but it looks like that um and it's just so nice to it's just it's really nice you know when you don't want to wear exactly a neutral and when you're wearing a lot of like light glowy skin makeup products it's nice to have maybe a little deeper color on your lips but this is like deeper without being like a vampy lip I feel like this is a good way to mix that in then the next product is a ColourPop blotted lip in the shade drip now this is actually meant to be how I'm wearing this because this is actually a pretty opaque color so I actually work to not make it opaque whereas this is much more sheer and this one's actually matte um, so it's supposed to go on as like a sheer color and then it kind of sets in and it just kind of stays there all day and I really just love the color and I love the look it has I kind of like pat it on my lips like this I bounce it on my lips and I'll blend out the edges and it just gives like a 
diffused look and it just kind of it looks like it's natural and you just have like really pink lips but it's not natural it's this lip product so I really like this and again ColourPop is so inexpensive that it's such a deal now these two actually go together these are the buxom um, just their full-on lip creams now I have the shade Mai Tai and Creamsicle um, these have been in my collection for a little while, so I'm not sure if both of these shades are available, but they always have a plethora of shades, so if these exact shades aren't available, there's plenty for you to choose from. But I love wearing more neon-y, bright lip glosses in the summer because it's still sheer, it's still, it, like, it's not very noticeable, but it also is different than your usual so I've been wearing both of these because I think they're just so fun I'll just show you I do have a lip product underneath it I have a NYX one but I just think it's so fun and especially I would say kind of the theme of this the theme of this this video is more light glowy makeup and I just feel like these are great to throw on your lips and give like a little bit of a pop to your look that's not as plain so I really like those products now the last product is actually a perfume the Ariana Grande I think it's like her cloud perfume it comes in this like little cloud carrier um, and I was with my friend at Ulta and I was just walking around and the cloud shape kind of caught my eye so I sniffed it I sniffed it I smelled it and it smells so so good and I, I like I don't have anything against Ariana Grande I'm just not like I don't like she's not like my favorite singer ever so I I didn't pick up her perfume because I like her I picked it up because it smells so good in my opinion I would say this is like gives the same feeling as a, a vanilla scented perfume without it being the scent vanilla I don't think it might have a little bit of vanilla in it but I don't think it has very much and it has like a it has like a a lighter tone to it so it's like a vanilla y sweet scent without being super heavy and wintry it's more summery spring but it smells so yummy like I really just love this scent and I can't stop using it I kind of wish I had picked up the bigger size because I love it I really do love the scent so much Oh my goodness, I forgot two eyeshadows. So I'm just going to do those really quick and then the video will be over. So one is the ColourPop Disney Villains Collection. Um, and this is their Jelly Much Eyeshadow in the shade Perfectly Re um, Wretched. And I absolutely love this shade. I got both of these eyeshadows actually for prom and I used both of them together. It was unintentional, a whole story. But I actually used them together and they are so beautiful. This is like a... A champagne -y pink glitters mixed in it is so beautiful it's almost got like a holographic undertone to it but that's probably probably the wrong word so don't hold me to that but it's very very subtle um, it's only when you really look at it but it's so beautiful and I really love this formula and it's so inexpensive so I just wanted to recommend that and the other thing is the dose of colors pretty dust ideal eye duo so the top is like a super duper sticky, I can't open it, a super duper sticky eye base that has a metallic, it matches the powder underneath, and then, then there's like a loose shimmery powder pigment that these, it just, it's so easy because the base is connected to it and it's so beautiful and I just, I really, really love it. It's such a good product. So that's the other thing, just for kind of glowier looks, I use usually use some browns in my crease and I just throw those on my lid but super big fan of both of those products thank you so much for watching i really hope that these recommendations give you ideas um, of either things you maybe want to go out and purchase or to look at products you have in your collection already and how you can repurpose them for the summer kind of like you know the lip product where you sh if you shear it out it gives more of a summery vibe to it but i hope this video helped and if you liked this video please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!